This is the most depressing update. I was playing X Defiant with my friend last night. Got bored of the game, got off it. Saw so Counter Strike had an update. Got on, bought the pass, and then I sat there and was like, "Wow, where is everything? Am I missing something?" And then I got it. I, you know, jumped in the game immediately, bought the pass, and I was like, "Wait a minute, you could stack." And then it said, "You know, let's talk about that. You can stack passes." And I was like, I'm like, how did that work? Like, do you buy the pass and then you could, add, like, do you buy this battle pass and then you get armory passes? Like, how does that work? Um, it works as in you can spend $15, $16, five times. My bad, I had my screen cropped from previously. <laughs> uh, that's my bad, I had it cropped a little. But still, I mean, you were still able to see what I was looking at here. But yeah, it's, this is atrocious uh mostly due to the five battle pass thing because this almost becomes pay i don't want to say pay to win because you're not winning but it's pay to make more money because here's the thing with counter-strike skins it's just money nowadays people really only care about the money 99 percent of people only care about the money and the other one percent are the people that can afford anything they want because they they have the money that valve knows that and that's why they did what they did, because they know everybody who wants to make money in air quotations, make money off of the skins, the new skins. That's where the most money is made is when the first when this case first drops, people are going to buy this. People are going to buy five of these fucking tickets. Uh, the problem is I want a refund on mine, honestly, because I bought it and then I realized, oh, let's play. Let's play the new. Let's play the new co-op mode. Oh, wait, there's no new co-op mode. Well, maybe there's a new game. Oh, wait, there's no new game mode. There ain't shit. There ain't shit. By the way, I hate this new decal that they've done. Instead of making a really cool, you know, uh, emblem for the maps that represents the maps in a really cool design, they just did community map, pool day, community map, mills, community map, Vera. They literally released pins. IRL pins based off of the fucking maps and shit like the logos like this nuke logo is iconic iconic the mirage logo is iconic the dust 2 logo is iconic community map dara community map mills it's petty but it's true like it just stands out too like it would be different if it was a limited event type thing where it's like oh limited event pool day is only going to be a, the this community map's only going to be an arms race for the next week and then we're going to switch it out for another, another map that would make sense like if it was a limited time and then we're going to keep cycling in you know the most popular community maps we're going to do no pool day community map name tag it's a name tag get it it's a name tag it's a name tag Look at how crudely drawn it is. It looks like a name tag, guys. Alexa, play Black Eyed Peas. Where is the love? Genuinely, like, put, put that out in the background right now. Like, where's the love, bro? Where's the love? N nothing. We got nothing. Nothing's changed. Wait, you know what they did? They added, they added four skin cases at once. They added four skin cases at once, along with charms. By the way, I'm not a fan of the charms, like, uh, so how they work is you could put them on any spot in the weapon. I'm gonna say this. Yes. The this charm is stupid. I think this one's dumb. I don't like this one. I don't like this one either. This one's better. This one's pretty okay. This one's okay. Slightly better. Pretty decent. I like this one. Really stands out. Mediocre. Really nice. I like this one. Kinda cool. Kinda cool. Shit. Kind of ass. Okay. Okay mid okay just because it's a you know base weapon I and mean, we have these charms uh they're all the exact same design literally they're all the exact same they're chickens this is it they're all supposed to be chickens um so none of, there's no uniqueness to them whereas like this it's like you actually get uniqueness like you got the op and how the body's small and the the pointer's long and then you got the big like this is like you know it's a unique kind of design uh and then you just have, they're all exactly the same other than the skin on them, which is fine. It's three stars to get one. Like, uh, this one's kind of cool. You know, I like the uh, glitter, you know, the uh, hollow effect. Again, like, you can't even notice the, the glitter effect. Maybe it's more noticeable on the weapon in-game. These remind me of Mighty Beans. That's what these remind me of. And, like, it's weird because I actually kind of like these. I wish these didn't exist. 
even though I think these overall are kind of cooler than these, I kind of like these charms more. I really wish they didn't do the two sets of keychains, because as much as I like these, I would prefer if these were treated like Mighty Beans almost. If you don't know what Mighty Beans are, they were these like, like things, like bean things that like stood up, you know, uh, and they all had different designs on them. And, uh, you know, I'll show some pictures on screen here. And they were just like, you know, they were the same thing. They were all just these round little beans, but they all had different designs on them. And that's what I feel like this is like. Like, again, it's less unique because they all have the same design, but it's just, they all, you know, like structure wise, like body wise, like, you know, outline wise, it's like, oh, just this little tail and it's like a little pose. But like, I like how everything is different. Like, you, oh, collect them all type deal. That's, that's the feeling that I get from these. You know, you could just release every every uh case you release you could release a new pack of of your mighty bean keychains and there's you know they're the same exact you know outline and shit they're on the same body line but every skit you know it feels you know it, fe it feels cool in that way it's like the same exact keychain type uh but it's just a cool different character design and you could have like a hundred characters you know after you know after however long the game has been out you could have like oh there's like a hundred different you gotta collect them all type deal whereas like this it's like, uh, like it's way more unique. Um, but I like this more. Like, again, like I, I understand, like it's kind of cool, but this is kind of cool until you realize that it's 25 fucking stars, which if you're playing exclusively competitive might not be too, it's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute actually. Um, and then, you know, we got, we got to make the, the UI this this has more effort put into it than all of cs2 combined charm detachment pack the moment i saw this i was like oh i see this this entire update was to make money there's no new content in air quotations it's literally just how much can we fucking rip these people off for rip our player base off for that's what this is because they know people are going to buy five of these and they're going to make 80 some dollars off of every sale um they know that you know you're going to spend the money and buy charm detachment packs like this is the equivalent of them selling the ability to scratch like to scratch your sticker like imagine if you had to spend 99 cents for every time you scratched your fucking sticker on a gun oh, i want to i want to scratch the sticker off this gun 99 cents per scratch that's what this is to me it feels uh, none of the cases are on the market yet because you can't sell anything yet um this looks cool until you realize that it's 25 stars. And if you only have one pass, that's going to take you forever. Like a lot of this stuff is built to take forever. But it's going to take extremely less time if you spend the $80 and get five passes. Uh-huh. And then that's where the uh, shadiness of this comes from and why people are going to buy the passes because each star counts. So if I had five passes right now, I would have five stars to start off. I would immediately be able to uh, open anything. I could get anything I want. I could get this case. I could I could choose a weapon from here or get a random weapon. I could open this. I could do this. I could literally get anything. I could immediately start off. Or since I only have one pass, I literally can't get anything other than stickers. I could get I could get one of the stickers. One of the stickers. That's it. Um, cool. All of these are stupid as fuck. And all of these are also stupid as fuck because none of these stickers have anything to do with Counter-Strike. And this is the one thing that uh, I respect Own Pixel for talking about is it doesn't fit the theme of Counter-Strike. You know, I never really looked at that, but like he's like with specific skins, you know, like it doesn't, certain things don't feel Counter-Strike. That's, you know, certain skins don't deserve to be in the game because they, it just doesn't have that Counter-Strike feel. You know, it's like, where's the player? Like, the, the, you know, you want a Counter-Strike face. Again, like this is, you know, Counter-Strike hand, Counter-Strike hand. What is this? Nothing to do with Counter-Strike. Nothing to do with Counter-Strike. Nothing to do with Counter-Strike. Whatever. Nothing to do with Counter-Strike. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Elemental, like, again. Like, it's cool. Like, they add this so you can, you know, do more cool. Like, again, I'm not hating this because you could do cooler designs. You know, they're giving you faces and eyeballs. You can make cool sticker crafts now that you can put your stickers anywhere you want on the gun. So you could do a really cool craft now. I understand that so like i don't hate that a lot but it also still bothers me uh, kawaii eyes like that's that's cool you can make a cool craft with that what does it have to do with fucking counter-strike it's funny because 
I played, if you play casual, I played one arms race match, by the way, and this is the amount of XP that I got. It doesn't even look like I played a fucking game. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know if I had just bought the pass or not. I did play a match, and I got nothing. So if you, and, and it doesn't hurt, it hurts more, because if you're a casual player, uh, and you don't really play comp, this pass is going to take you 10 years to get fucking three stars from. Uh, competitive, you get more. I watched Anomaly play. He played one competitive match, and he got like 70% of his uh, one loop filled. And then he played a death match, and he was able to complete one star. So about a, you know, a full comp match and, you know, a little more, you'll be able to get one star. Which again, it's actually more than one star if you buy more passes, buy more passes, spend more money, spend more money, buy more passes, you get more items, you get, get. genuinely the one, the, the one thing that I wanted, the one thing that I wanted from an, this isn't an operation, obviously. The one thing I wanted from an actual operation was just the co-op. I like, I wanted, because I remember back when the wildfire operation released that was right as i was getting into counter-strike and i remember buying that pass and me and my friends just grinding the comp or not the competitive the co-op we just played the co-op missions and that's what i wanted to do is i wanted to co-op missions right. solo i wanted to solo the, the the story missions that's just what i wanted to do because you were able to get stars that's how it worked as you completed the co-op missions and you could get stars other ways like they actually had like, how that had it set up is, like, you could get three stars if you get ten kills with an MP5. I think that's how it's set up. Like, they had, like, things that you can do to get stars, and now it's, like, it's just time-based. It, it's just, like, oh, play one full comp match, and you get this. Like, back in the day, it was, like, you could get two whole stars if you, you know, you know, win, win, run around with blah, 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 or do this with this. I don't, I, was Reptide like that? I didn't really play during Reptide, so maybe it wasn't, but I remember Wildfire, it was just so much simpler, and now it's, this is, this is depressing. I don't like this. This is upsetting. It doesn't make me want to play the game. You know, unless you're somebody who's super into skins, and you have an expensive inventory, or you like just spending money, uh, then sure, you know, like, if I, even if I had the money to spend, dude, if I was a millionaire right now, and I could just burn money like it was nothing... I don't even know if I would buy five passes because I would, in order to even level them up, I would have to play. I can't even buy the stars. Like, I can't even just w w be a whale and spend money. Like, you literally, like, it, I genuinely would have just bought stars right now. Like, I wouldn't be complaining if I could just buy stars. But the fact that I can't is upsetting because I would rather buy the stars than play the game because the game fucking sucks. They haven't changed anything. They haven't fixed the, you know, cheater problem. They haven't added anything new to the game other than, I guess, the community maps. I wanted to play the competitive mode. Like that, or not competitive, the co-op mode. So it's just, you know, it's weird how they did everything. I think it's kind of disgusting. Way to go. Hey, at least you made your fucking $16 off me. I hope you're happy.